Hey guys and welcome back to another virtual ants video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to catch and find queen ants so let's get into it. Okay so the tools you're going to need are really just some tweezers and something to contain them in so right here I'm using a small plastic test tube and I got about a hundred of these off Amazon so I'll leave the link in the description if you want to buy any. Um, but that basically covers what you need to catch the ants, so now we're going to move on to how to catch them and where to catch them. Okay, so as you can see here, this queen has a backpack looking shape on their back, and this is what we use to identify the queens. This queen here will be harder to tell compared to most workers because they're semi-claustral, meaning that they have to forage for their brood. Claustral queens will typically be much easier to spot compared to these due to their immense size and their thorax being very large too. The reason why they're so big is because they have big fat reserves, meaning that they are fully claustral, which means they can stay in the test tube for up to a month, and once they've laid their first workers is then when they start to eat. Most queens will also have wing scars, which is another sign of having a queen. So moving on, I'm going to be talking about how to actually find these queens in the wild. So basically what happens is every year there's something called a nuptial flight and that's what ants have. Now basically what this is is an event where all the ants get together to mate and grow new colonies. Now this is actually how you get queens walking around on the sidewalk. So basically what happens is the queen starts off non-fertile with wings. Then once she mates, she'll shed her wings and look for a place to start her colony. Now when these queens shed their wings, it means they're fertile and that's when you want to catch them. Never catch the winged ones because it means they're not fertile if they still have wings. Alright guys, so just taking a quick break, I just want to say that the new ant shack formula carrying that we got from Bad Boy Ants is actually really good. Now if you don't already know who ant shack is, basically they're a company that does really nice 3D printed formula carriums as well as feeding dishes, test tube connectors, and more. If you're thinking about buying a formicarium for your colony, you should definitely go check out Ant Shack's formicarium I've linked down below in the description. If you buy the formicarium using our link, it really helps out with the channel, as we get a small percentage of the money, which means we can do better videos and more reviews for you. Anyway, let's get back to the subject. Alright, so moving back to the subject, typically you want to use tweezers to catch ants as these are more precise and it prevents you from getting stung by any ants with nasty stingers, like this one here. Unless you're fast handed like me, then always use tweezers, especially if you have allergic reactions to ant stings, as you don't want to risk getting an anaphylactic shock or anything like that. If you've unfortunately missed a nuptial flight or it has ended recently, you can always find a couple more queens if you're lucky by lifting small rocks and pavers just like this one as queen ants like to make founding nests under these rocks and pavers. Anyway guys, that about wraps up this video for today, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, comment down below and smash that like button, and also don't forget to go check out our discord server, I'll leave a link down below in the comments for you to go check out, as well as all the other links such as the ant shack, formicarium, and the test tubes, and anyway guys, I'll see you next time.